Hi, my name is Sean Taylor. That guy down there is, well, actually, this is my dog, and the guy below the dog is my friend Chris Ford, a.k.a. the Objective Geek of YouTube go and Twitter. Chiefs. And go Chiefs, yeah, or, I mean... Salsa. Yeah, go... <laughs> Listen, I always I always get a preface, like, the Chiefs are kind of my number two team. I don't want to be a poser or, or, like, a bandwagon person, uh, but still go Chiefs. And, yeah, that was quite a game. <laughs> and we are recording pretty late, but just had the opportunity... <laughs> We wanted just to take advantage of this opportunity to to bring you the latest updates in the Netflix live action Avatar adaptation casting, the the latest news, and we also kind of had the opportunity for one more small filler <laughs> episode before the holidays, which was a bonus motivation. So forgive us for this like one more short episode. Got a couple of good ones planned for the holidays. And for for Christmas and for New Year's, very excited about those. And in 2022, we'll be pretty much ready to get back on our normal track with with book four. And that'll be very exciting. But Chris, until that time, first of all, how are you doing? And then second of all, any last anything you would like to know about the holidays, Christmas, New Year's, or whatever? Uh, doing good, doing good. I have, I have nothing to add on to that. Um Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, other holidays, other ones I don't celebrate, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, you know, those New Year's, some other I don't really things, celebrate yeah. New Year's, <laughs> that's not New a holiday, year, that's, but that's just not a... until New Year, yeah, well, that's just another day, uh, I used to really think about Chinese New Year a lot when we worked at Payless, because you gotta think about factories yeah, and stuff, and when they go cause it's on like their a, break, it's like 10 days or something, yeah, it's, it's so... a really big deal. <laughs> Uh, Chinese New Year and Carnival in Latin America. Those oh, were the yes. two big ones yeah. for us. <laughs> you know, I was thinking, I was reading like Patrick Mahomes and so and so's stat line. It was like INT. Anytime I see INT, I don't think interception. I think, I think international. international. Yeah, same. Yeah. Anyway, this forever. Chris, I do have yeah. one more. I do have one more Christmas note. Uh, just very selfishly, is I actually did buy. I uh, somebody gave me not gave me. Somebody kind of paid me for a favor with an Xbox One like six or eight months ago, and I played it like twice, and I felt really bad Wait, for it. Oh, an Xbox One? Which an one Xbox is the one. new one? The, the Series Xbox X. One is the... Series S and Series X. Okay. Uh, Series so X has one. it. Right. So it's still the previous generation. I just told myself, yes, I was like, oh, I have a Switch. I don't I don't want any of those. Uh, but somebody like traded it for Visa. Like, All right, fine, whatever. But I did finally just give in. I don't know why. I just kept staring at it, and I felt bad. I was like, they gave me this. That was very nice. So I did buy myself. I like just on GameStop did a buy three get two free sale on pre owned like nineteen ninety nine or less. And so I spent like three hours <coughs> trying to find the best possible deals on Xbox games from GameStop. And then there's also a gambling element because when you order used from them, you have no idea if it's coming loose or or complete or whatever and so i actually did secretly have like my money's worth of fun just shopping for two hours trying to find the best bang for my buck dollar wise from gamestop and one of those things so that was like a christmas present to myself is i'm actually going to play the xbox one and i'm going to try red dead redemption 2 and i'm kind of excited about that that's my last random christmas sean gift to myself that i always buy myself uh no ha- merry christmas happy holidays happy new years be good humans enjoy the holidays chris that's what i got i hear that you have some speculative potential news to discuss yeah well there's actual there's actual news to discuss okay um so we'll get to it actual news so first have... and speculative news yes. next exactly that's okay what gotcha gotcha uh so first off we have some pretty big casting announcements uh for the show so Azula has been cast by for Elizabeth Yu. I do not know her. I'm not familiar with her. She looks like she can play the part. That is her right there on your screen. That might be the only person you see on the screen unless John pulls up his internet or something. Anyway. Uh, <clears throat> it was just the they describe, image, yeah. Okay. Uh, they describe her as... Uh, so, anyway, Elizabeth Yu is from an untitled Ray Romano film, whatever. All My Love, I don't know what that is exactly. Anyway, she will play Azula, the intensely driven princess of the Fire Nation, a fire-bending prodigy and relentless perfectionist. She'll stop at nothing to secure her position as the heir to the throne. That's kind of an interesting thing. I feel like Azula's never 
I feel like Azula was never like, oh, Zuko's in the way of me being the next of the throne. Like, she's never had that thought. No, <laughs> she's like, she, Zuko's not. Like, <laughs> she's like, I can handle that. I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. Yeah, like, that's that's, that's the least of her concerns is Zuko. <laughs> like, she's like, hey, even if Zuko, like, somehow captures the Avatar, it somehow gets back into graces with our father, I'll just kill him. Like, I'm still, <laughs> right, he's still not a match for all of yeah, my I, options of murdering him. She even in the show positioned him to be in better favor with her father. Like she told her father he killed the avatar by saying say, anyway, not important. And what but I mean, one I, of the more I, clever I, I, schemes of like this is another way that I'm gonna ruin yeah, you. Exactly. You're, you're not even gonna know about what you kinda knew about it, but no, she um, yeah. That is that is not an accurate yeah. depiction of yeah. the Azula I mean, that I'm, I know. And the thing is, I've, I've, you know, I'm up and down with this show. I'm, I'm more up than I have been probably since, I'm the highest I've been since Brian and Mike left the show. Uh, that you know, could, that could still great. be a relatively low bar. Like, that can be true for me, too, and it I probably was, is, but it is pretty. Yeah. And so right now, I'm just like, you know what, it's going to be what it's going to be. Um, but also, so, Netflix Cowboy Bebop was canceled after one season. One season, like I don't care if I do care, but regardless of if I don't like the show, or regardless if I think it's crap, or even regardless if I think like oh it's okay, or, or even I love it, I really hope they get a chance to tell a full story because that 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 would be more heart wrenching I think than it being bad. Like I even I, I don't think it'll be bad for once. For, for, for first of all, I just hope it gets a chance to tell a full story, and I think it will. Like. After I lost Airbender, the cartoon broke records for Netflix at the time. The animated in 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 America, animation has a stigma in America. Adults like yeah, animation, uh, cartoons, whatever. Like they don't they only watch cartoons if it's Family Guy or something dumb like that. Um, so think about what the live action series is going to do. So I think it's going to be successful no matter what. I think plenty of people might think it's going to be better than the cartoon, especially people uneducated folk. Uh, but regardless, I really hope. Regardless of how I feel about it, I'm no longer as excited as I was before. I hope it succeeds. I hope it does well. I definitely hope, regardless of its success or or views, uh, I hope it gets a chance to tell the story fully. I think I can see it being critically bad, but still successful. Or critically blah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe critically blah. Not critically bad. I, I do doubt Also, that. I'm still... I'm still in the middle of, of trying to watch Cowboy Bebop cartoon, and I it's rough for me. Like I, the the first three episodes of the live action one, I didn't like, but by the end of it, I was fully invested and into it. So I'm actually very disappointed by that news. Like I don't think people gave it a chance because people are just like, oh, it's not the animated show. And Netflix, also, honestly, I well, think that's overrated. It is still partially Netflix's fault because they've had such a bad run with this live action adaptations of stuff. I feel like people have it on a shorter leash, but mm, Netflix yeah. kind of deserves that at this point. Like y'all have done enough weird stuff that we're not going to give that you just true. a whole lot of chances. So it, I, mm. while I'm disappointed on your behalf, I don't care personally. It, <laughs> it is still Netflix's fault. Yeah. All right. Next up in the cast is Maria Zhang. Uh, she will play Suki, the intimidating leader of the Kyoshi warriors an elite fighting force dedicated to protecting their community and upholding the ideas of their namesake, Avatar Kiyoshi. Uh, that sounds pretty much like Suki. And I know we don't have the picture up here, but for some reason, this is my favorite casting when it comes to just appearances and pictures they use. Oh, no, I just really... I know, I'm sorry, guys, you guys see it. <laughs> yeah, no, let me, uh, let uh, me pull oh! up the... Okay. I can share my screen, and you'll be able to see part of it at least. So let's okay. do... Uh, but for some reason... She just looks like yeah, let's, there we go. The most like Suki to me. Like the most like the character. Oh, she just has to like smirk. I don't know. It's Yeah, it's, no, I I went here. Let's let's do a little, yeah. little zoom in. I hid my camera so we can get more zoom. That's how much I care about okay. Elle right now. Yeah, that's a good picture. That's a really yeah. <clears throat> I mean the the fan of me, you know, just hope they just tan her hair a little bit. It it's not that important, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna hold. Fair. I'm not gonna hold them. Hold them. Uh, uh, uh want that. not a need. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Tamron Tomita, who's apparently famous from The Good Doctor and Cobra Kai. I watched Cobra Kai. I have no idea. I mean, I feel like I remember seeing her, but 
Uh, apparently, she's a good talent. People like her, so that's good. She'll play Yukura. It's a new character. It's Suki's mother and the fiercely protective mayor of her small village on Kyoshi Island. Um, I like this development. It's different. You know, it's that guy right there on the screen, essentially. But also gets a chance to see Sokka with the mother-in-law. And I like seeing Sokka with, with uh, the in-laws. That's always a kind of a could be potential good comedic beat. Uh, but I also like just seeing that the patriarch of the village... It's still a woman because I feel like Kyoshi Island would be that way. Like it's one of those patriarchies. It's like, hey, we pass a woman's our leader every every mm-hmm. freaking time. No, I think I think that is a, a not superly significant, but still meaningful change. If that makes yeah. sense, like it's not a deal yeah. maker or breaker, but it's a meaningful adjustment that I like. Yeah. Uh, also, just want to shout out that I, I think. Well, I just love Avatar the series, and I think it's really cool that like this casting announcement's like five pretty big characters, and it's all women, and it's all women of color. Like that's, I love diversity. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. I love, and I love strong women. Like, and, and the thing about Avatar, you know, they can sometimes they can be preached about. It. One thing I don't care if if <laughs> if things can be preached sometimes. Sometimes people can't. People sometimes people don't get the subtlety. They need something to hit over their head. Yeah, some um, things. But need, Avatar also some things need preachy. Yeah. Avatar also does it in in subtle ways too. You know, they just have really strong female characters. But yeah, no, this, so far so good. Next up, we have Yvonne Chapman. She is from Kung Fu and Family Law. Kung Fu is a show on the CW that I watched one episode of and didn't watch the rest. Not because it's really bad, just because I just have a lot of stuff on my playbook. And yeah, she yeah, she's a. I don't know why I'm just actually with her look. Chris isn't going to say that right, but he's really attracted to this lady. <laughs> I'm not worried that Chris's <laughs> wife is going to watch this, so I'll just say it for him. And I think that's I think that's delightful. <laughs> she's very she's very pretty. I'm on board. Oh man. Uh, okay, she will play Avatar Kyoshi, <laughs> which man love Kyoshi. You know she's second favorite Avatar, uh, a legendary warrior revered for her bravery, fearsome fighting skills, and uncompromising dedication to the cause of justice. That sounds Kyoshi to a T. I know yeah. it's not important, but I hope she's tall. Like I know that she exactly. doesn't have to be tall, but I want <laughs> she her to doesn't be have tall. to. She doesn't have to be tall, Sean. But I would like her to be tall. Chris likes tall she women. Is like, That's what... <laughs> I know. I mean, I think it's tall. I really, yeah, not important. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's five five with brown eyes. That's a. Uh, I... uh, that's a that's a, a song lyric, which is true. Mm. I uh, I do actually yeah. have a small tangent, which is today I had to go into the office and I met one of my coworkers for the first time, and it's funny. And were they much taller than you thought? No, she was much much shorter. <laughs> <laughs> and, I had the opposite and, happen to me. Right, uh, and it's just one of those things that like mm-hmm. you, I don't know what in what part of your brain decides when mm-hmm. you're talking to a person on camera that they're just yeah. a normal sized person, and she is not, and it made me laugh pretty hard. But yeah. anyway, that I think me. There's... <laughs> There's this one guy at work who I don't like. Uh, that, like I don't know. There's a few people that... thing is, there's a few people that I don't like that are somewhat hardworking and smart. He's just not a team player. Uh, um, like, he, he sort of has a small voice or a smaller voice. And I always see him on camera ever. And I think just maybe my opinion of him shortened him also. No, I always thought he was short. That's not true. Even before <laughs> I started dancing like... Uh, but when I met him, I used like six three. I was like, oh, okay, whatever. Not important. <laughs> no, anyway, it is uh, just funny yes. though how that how your brain decides those things without your permission. So I would I would like them to CGI her, or at least do camera work in a way that she's tall. I mean, Kyoshi would probably be shown in flashbacks, and so that would be kind of easy because even in the show, you don't really get a sense of how tall she is until she's like standing next to someone. Like she's standing next to Chin the Conqueror, and you're like, holy crap! And and also they just say like, Yoshi was massive. She had the biggest feet of any Avatar. Um, and also, I, I shouldn't care about it too much. I'm pretty sure they're never going to do a live action adaption. I'm sure, pretty sure Netflix would never be responsible for doing a live action and adaption of the Raz Yoshi. And uh, and I think in Raz Yoshi, she has to be tall. Like that's part of the story. Like she's such a kind of a big oof. Like she takes up more space than. She should. It's to me her height is way more important there than it is in in Avatar. So, yeah, I agree. That's fair. Uh, okay. And then next we have K 
Stacy Camp or Nick. Uh, she's from Barking Water and Reservation Dogs. Uh, she will play Grand Grand, Katara and Sokka's grandmother, and the compassionate and wise matriarch of the Sun and Water Tribe. I have no idea who she is. She looks the part. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, okay. Excellent op bad reference. Nicely done. <laughs> okay, but other somewhat news. So that's no just for, for a cutoff. So yes. that's, that's our oh. casting kind of quote unquote confirmed news. And, and yes, now we're that's reaching the real into news. Chris's intuition, which to be fair, I trust as much as any news source. I don't know. Okay, so Netflix geeked. Anytime they get the, the whole cast, they always do like, and here's the cast of this show. Like they did it with Cowboy Bebop. Like whenever they first announced the main three, they announced those, and then they started announcing ones, announcing ones. Then they did this big Twitter thread of like, and here's the long cast of people in this season. So Netflix did that. They had the gang's all here. The cast of Avatar Last Airbender has assembled. And they show all the casting that we've gone through uh, for Aang, Katara, Sokka, Kyoshi, Suki, Zuko, Iroh, Azula. Fire Lord Ozai, um, Commander Zhao, Grand Grand, Yatsu, Kyoshi. Now, that is interesting because this cast does not include Jet. You're welcome, Sean, I guess. Um, <laughs> I hope he never but this gets cast, cast. This cast does not include Boomy. It does not include the Cabbage Guy. It does not include Roku. So those are like four of the other ones. Well, Cabbage Guy isn't that big, but he has to be in it. Come on, people. He has to be in it. Um, but those are like four of the main characters, four of the big, huge characters that would require a, a big cast announcement. So, I mean, I tweeted out to like, hey, this could be major differences. This could mean major differences for the book. Now, if you were like, oh, no, you're just reaching. Like, this is probably just the first five episodes cast. Like, no, if that was the case, they wouldn't say the cast is all assembled. Like, <laughs> to me, that's a very, that's, to me, this is at least the first season cast. If it was any, in the first season, I don't know, confirmed, I thought it was going to be like 10 episodes. Uh, but this is the cast. This is the this is the cast for the first season. I think there might be some smaller roles. I think there might be some secret roles, like maybe towards the end there. Um, but the reason why I bring this up is because it doesn't line up with the first season, right? Like in the first season, we, mo- we meet Boomy. We meet Roku. We go to the Northern Water Tribe. We meet Princess Yue. Like she would have been worthy cast and now she has more of a plot point than Graham Graham does. And so I don't think the first season is going to cover all the way up to uh all the way up to the Siege of the North. Or I don't think it's gonna cover Siege of the North because we're missing so many players in that. Well, and some people are like, ah you're, you're just being speculative or your region. I would anticipate I don't know, there's something like a Chris, is this is this is probably a stupid question, but are we talking? We're talking most likely ten episodes, or in that ballpark, a 40, mm-hmm. 40 45 minute episodes, right? Like the, the something like that, yeah. Right, not the twenty minute, but it still feels like in a case like Netflix, they would flesh these out in that 10, 10 40 minute episodes of this Netflix show could very well be not twenty episodes of the of the animated series, yeah. If I, I hope so, I'm making sense. Yeah, no, you are. Yeah, I, I could see it to where this season is going to cover half of book one or a big part of it. And I think they're just moving a couple things around, right? So a couple episodes, it doesn't really matter where they go. The Jet episode can go somewhere else. Can go. <laughs> I love the Jet. I, I don't want him to go out. Jet can go, can just be moving. Just write him out. That's fine. <laughs> no, I love Jet. Don't write him out. Um, <laughs> Jack episode could be uh, maneuvered after this. I think so. If this is only going to be like half of the season story, I think the goal, like for our characters, is to get to Roku Island. So to for Aang to find Roku. So the first season goal is like Aang has to find Roku. He has to connect to his past life, and so it's them going globe trotting. But he also has to get to. So I feel like the last episode is going to be like Winter Solstice episode, a bit up to that. That would be kind um, of cool. They also might, yeah. Um, they also might, that was, and, and so that will still, but then you would pull um, the the Storm episode 
uh, because uh, Winter Solstice Part One and Two is like episodes seven and eight. The Storm is like episode ten or twelve, somewhere around there. So pull the storm up, which you can. That's not going to be in the way. It's not going to like change things. Those things can happen in different order. So pull the storm up before the Winter Solstice episode, because Storm has to be in there, because there's no reason that Azula would be cast, because she's nowhere in season one, except for in the episode The Storm, and in the last episode. Uh, so though, so that's reason. I, I honestly didn't think they were going to cast Azula already, but they did, so they must be doing Storm, because the Storm has a flashback to that Agni Kai, and also they cast Fire Lord Ozai already, which I didn't really need to do. Either you still could have did like some shadowy silhouette of him. And uh and so but it seems like he's gonna be very prominent in there. So put him in so Storm and have them all try and get to uh Broku's island. And that'll kinda be the the finale, I guess, or the mid season finale. I mean maybe they're gonna do do how they did Castlevania, where like that first season of Castlevania is like what, four, four episodes? Four episodes and it's a yeah. big it's kind of uh, just an intro. If and I will. would say, yeah, it's like a big, like a really big teaser. Like, what's mm. the, you know, like when Pokemon has a movie that kind of fits within it canonically, but it's still a movie. It's like those four episodes were kind of like a movie that could fit within the series or something. Uh, yeah. Chris, well, I, well, I certainly, if if you ever ask me to vote and or bet or something, it's like I'm always going to bet on on, <laughs> on your gut instincts. But I'd also just say, you, you know, what are the chances that we're talking, you know, moving this episode here and pulling that episode out there. It's like, hey, you know, they don't, I don't know. It depends on the magnitude of the changes. If the episodes are are sort of thoroughly recognizable. And I guess like one thing that's making me say that is I, like, there's no need for Boomy in that episode to be as early as it is. It's not that it's a nope. filler and yeah. it works in the series where also, it is in the really... animated series, but there's not a like a great reason that it can't just be farther yeah. down the road. Azula, there's not a great, uh, you know, I I get the the idea of pulling up the storm, and that being a possibility, but there's no reason that they can't find ways to plug her into more episodes if she's a very engaging character in this way they've rewritten the story and all that. So, you know, um, I don't know. I, I'm curious to see the magnitude of the changes being made. I do. I sometimes that's scary to say, but I but I always feel. That if you're going to do a remake, it's not that I want it butchered, but if you're going to do a remake, it, yeah. I want it to have a purpose. Like, why are you retelling this story? And that usually would involve some noticeable changes. Yeah, you know, people people say it, and I agree with that. I I understand that sentiment, but also I'm just like, you know what? I wouldn't mind a one for one change, but this is live action. I know that doesn't. That doesn't do anything make for much... me because it's not going to look no, as good I... in live action as it does in animation. There's no way this is looking as good. I completely get it. <laughs> I completely get it. So no, I would um, not like a one to one at all. That would be this would be a bad space for that. To I me, think. I would just I would just improve on some aspects of it, not change the story up too much. Um, but to me, my 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 want for things to be adapted live action is just see these things come to life to feel part of that world because there's still a barrier with animation as much as i love animation there's still somewhat of a barrier to it. my biggest fear with this whole thing is like well not so secretly is that it's not gonna look good remember when we talked about like, the witcher when everybody went crazy for the witcher and they're like and this is like better than be game of thrones. Better than the witcher. and it's like okay it, it it was it was good i did like it i'm not gonna pretend i didn't like it and the story might be better than Game of Thrones ultimately ended up being. But aesthetically, Game of Thrones was a so, way but... more polished product or whatever. And my biggest concern is that this won't look good and then I won't. Mm. That, and then I, I don't know. Then it'll feel, even if the story is great, even if changes major, minor, whatever. But if it won't look good in live action, and then I don't know. I'm very nervous about that. Yeah. Picture, like. Uh, I mean, so, so I don't know. but how. Do you, do you like books to be one for one translation? Uh, books to movies? Yes. Uh, or to or to any any medium. I always want my movies to feel a little expedited, and they usually are by necessity. Yeah, and it's can. usually uh, not the ways that I would want it, but I do want them to be a little expedited. 
Um, Harry Potter is the easy example, but I'm also, you know, just your standard, your Lords of the Rings and all. I, I always want a slightly faster or, or more convenient experience with a movie. Yeah. It, it Usually I can't pick out what I would, or usually whatever I think I would get rid of isn't what happens. But so ish, yeah, ish to what you're saying. Like a point yeah. eight to one experience. Is that a <laughs> no, 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 I get it. Yeah. Something in that ballpark. But uh, no, yeah, I, uh, I I probably agree with that. Yeah, point yeah, eighty percent the same. And then the other twenty percent, but just is more but just don't do anything. The other twenty percent in this just case, don't, just is don't more do like no. What we're gonna do? We're gonna then, shoot it all in all in Dutch angles. Yeah, <laughs> for some reason, Cowboy Bebop <laughs> did that. <laughs> I... like, especially the first three episodes, I was like, "Why are you guys using this Dutch?" And for anyone that know, Dutch angle just like when it's just crooked. Just a little bit. Yeah, I, I don't <laughs> care for that at all. I think that is one of those things that is done just to grab people's attention and they try to rationalize it or make it sound cool or important. But it's really just to, yeah. like, intentionally make it weird, and I don't like it. I didn't know it had a name, honestly. I just know that I don't like it. <laughs> uh, Chris, for what it's worth, I think we're probably in a similar... We're kind of wording it differently, but we're probably in a very similar ballpark of, like, when I say I need it to have a purpose for a remake... That purpose, like improvement, yeah. It doesn't have to be major yeah. overhauls. It just take what you've got. You've had several years of feedback and millions upon millions of viewers of feedback. You know, go ahead and, and uh, brush watch, it up a little go bit. Go watch. Go watch my. Go watch my video of how to make Avatar better. Yeah. How the live action can be a good video. How to improve on perfection. I I think it has some great yeah. ideas. No, I think it's a, it's, especially it's, about Aang. It is. I think Aang can be the out. biggest change just make Aang's character arc a little more defined and better and make him have a, a more significant uh direct impact on individual people but that could be the biggest thing and then ride out jet and then you're good no don't ride out and jet. then ride out jet more jet more jet what's one I okay think? you know what you can have more more jet but i want him to how do I want to say this? More, I want him to, I want him to face kidding, no. the consequences. Like he still destroyed a village and I want him to face more consequences of that from, I mean, from, the, Oh yeah. Let's, 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 Oh, from the, okay. I say he faced some consequences. Jet's dead. Well, uh, yeah, but it's way too late. Like I want him like, no, this, oh, yeah. this kid, this kid is an, uh, I get that's understandable, I guess. Cause like he, I want him to get a bad guy. Punishment what happens because he is afterwards. a bad guy. Like, they did not put him in jail. I don't they know. Just, she, Katara just put him up against a, a tree, I guess, or froze him at, on something. At the end of the yeah. episode, I want him to be treated like an actual bad guy and not like a bad guy that they just mm. happen to like. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. But anyway, I, I'm just getting by. Then he too. breaks out. He tries to escape to Boston City so he can bleed in with the refugees. And Make he comes him across a real... What, Chris, no help me out here. Is it, a, is it an anti-hero? Is that what it would be? A jet? Yeah. Make him make well, him like a full-fledged that instead of this guy that, that the audience immediately does like want to cling to and stuff, I guess. Like, I don't know. Anti-hero? Might, mm-hmm. Is that the right word? I mean, yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't consider him... An anti-hero. Well, that's what I'm saying. Is maybe go go like I probably all consider in him that more. If you're gonna do that. I, uh, I probably consider more villain. That's what they, they they probably could do a better job of redefining Jet. Yeah. So I wouldn't consider him an anti-hero, nor would I consider him a hero. But no, I consider him a villain in one episode, and then just a good guy in the next episode. That's there fair. needs to be some in between. Like he went from villain. It's a good guy. So that, no, yeah. So that the there me's to... of the world and the staunch supporters of the world aren't forced to just be like, well, in this episode, he's a jackass. Oh, well, but in this episode, he's grown and great. Is like, well, give us some, give us something else in there that we can actually work with. Yeah, yeah. I I recommended to give him more uh, background. See that he's becoming the like he's burning. He's trying to. Kill a village. All right, I want to see him confront the rough rhinos because that rough rhino killed his family, burned his village. Like he's becoming mm-hmm. the thing that he didn't, that he hated. And I want to see him confront him. Probably get to his per- probably get to a point where he could kill him. Mm-hmm. And then he decides not to. And then he decides like, what am I doing? Like I don't know what. Like and then have he's a, a little lost, moment, but, kind of. Yeah. 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 
oh, you know what, though? Nah, let him kill him. Ooh, that. I like that. And then, <laughs> actually, no, I do you know kind of like that. You don't know, want two guitar. You don't want two people being like. No, but the, that, oh, that me, moment me, here but... where he murders them can yes. be a nice build up to the no, guitar. Well, no, I don't, I don't want. I don't want. I don't want to murder. Yeah, murders the rough rhino leader guy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, that, that could be a cool. Okay, I'm on board. Because then you've got like a real. Uh, yes. Uh, like he, real there's no trauma going, that you've that you've yes. lived with that character. I can deal like with that. He has he has blood on his hands. Oh, I like that. See, Chris, look at us making significant improvements uh, or changes with purpose. Right, we're remaking with purpose. Yeah. already. Then now we're gonna get into that part of the episode. The yeah. completely non-speculative, completely. Oh yeah, this is fabricated. Sorry. Anytime I start talking, it's no longer even kind of speculation news. It's just complaining. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the segment I call Sean Wines. Uh, oh, real quick, the actress who plays Azula, uh, she's 19 years old, which doesn't make a big deal to me. Granted, Azula's 14 years old in the show, but I think that's good because I think Azula, I think she'll still be 14 in the show, but to me, Azula always came off as older than Zuko and, and also... An older presence uh, just of a person. An older, yeah, an older presence, right? And so I think that's actually smart to cast a 19-year-old to... I mean, one thing, the after Fuzuka, I think it's 21 anyway. Yeah. He's, he's yeah. older. Um, but compare that to like Aang and Katara, like uh, the actress for Katara, I believe she is 14. Aang is 12. But anyway. No, great point. Chris, I think that's I think that's enough for now. Let's let's go celebrate. I think holidays. so too. We we have episodes out through through the holidays, like three or four out. And so, you know, happy holidays and enjoy those and all that. Like, we'll, we'll be on the regular schedule. But chronologically, this is the last recording date that you and I are having before Christmas. So, Chris, happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Enjoy. Uh, I hope that you lose to your daughter in Yu-Gi-Oh! on purpose. But in, a, in an on-purpose oh, way, I, you're I, like, oh, well, that was a little, like, that was snappier than I expected. And, uh, like, the proud mm -hmm. but still on-purpose losing way. Uh, you know, sometimes I lose. I'm, I mean, I lose on purpose a lot of times. Yeah. Uh, but then I... Don't, 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 don't be I just impressed lose. by whatever it is that she's actually pulling off. <laughs> now that she's got a deck stacked full of crappy dark magicians. One thing, she made fun of the deck I, I made for her before. She's like, one thing, I, I, I don't think there's any big difference between the cards you gave her and the deck I assembled for her. Probably they were not. both a pretty... Like good decks for a basic they're, person. They're very vanilla, I would imagine. Yeah, she was like, "Yeah, now I don't need your cards anymore. These and cards like, are better." I'm like, what? like as if as if that was my deck. That's just a, a deck I just arranged for you. Like you want to do me for real? What you want to take on my? Was an assembled deck and not just a yeah. smattering of cards that. Yeah, but I like the confidence yeah. that she's carrying. I like that independent. Uh, yeah. That's good. Enjoy Dylan with Just her. Wait. I hope it goes well. I'm looking forward to hearing her reaction from the Switch game also. Yeah, that should be interesting. Yeah, get her on camera, have her react to it. I would I would watch that all day. <laughs> and make sure you flag it as made for kids, I imagine. I don't we don't get to do that too often. I don't know what that does. <laughs> I assume you can't yeah. like make money off of it or something weird. There can't be any comments. Uh yeah, you pretty much can't make money off of it. No well, ads. That makes, yeah. That makes sense. Uh, yeah, happy holidays, happy new year, Merry Christmas, all that stuff. And everybody else likewise. We're so grateful that you hang out with us every week. We really appreciate you. And we will talk to you officially in 2022. Oh, it's 2022 I know, already. That's wild. It's... We'll see you guys later. I saw, I, saw, oh. I, was like, I saw somebody say congrats to COVID for getting picked up for season three. Like, oh, crap, yeah, <laughs> this is... <laughs> COVID contract extended through the 2022 season. Yeah. Oh, nice. It turned a 10 day contract into a, uh, or a two way contract into a, a permanent well, league. Well, technically, you don't count 19. I really don't because we didn't don't. really start. Yeah. Like, I think we taking, had one case. Taking action until March yeah. 2020. And there I remember might have been because like one I was on vacation. February or something like that. Yeah. Not important. Yep. Be safe, everyone. Happy Be holidays. safe. Be good people. We'll see you next time. I definitely left you unmuted, and I'm glad I did. Uh, I did mute myself because my dog's snoring, but uh, all right, I'll mute myself now. See you guys later. <laughs> <laughs>